Mhm.
It is written of him. But woe to that one by whom the Son of Man betrayed. It would have been better for that one not to have been born. While they were eating, Jesus took a loaf of bread, and after blessing it, he broke it, gave it to the disciples, and said, Take this, it is my body. Then he took a cup, and after giving thanks, he gave it to them, and all of them drank from it. He said to them, This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many. Truly, I tell you, I will never again drink of the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. When they had sung the hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives, and Jesus said to them, You will all become deserters, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep will be scattered. But after I am raised up, I will go before you to Galilee. Peter said to him, even though all become deserters, I will not. Jesus said to him, Truly I tell you, this day, this very night, before the cross throws thrice, you will deny me three times. But Peter said vehemently, Even though I must die with you, I will not deny you. And all of the disciples said the same. They went to the place called Gethsemane, and Jesus said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. Jesus took with him Peter and James and John, and began to be distressed and agitated. 
And he said to the three disciples, I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and keep awake. And going a little further, Jesus threw himself on the ground and prayed that if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. He said, Abba Father, for you all things are possible. Remove this cup from me, yet not what I want, but what you want. Jesus came and found the disciples sleeping, and he said to Peter, Simon, are you asleep? Could you not keep awake one hour? Keep awake and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. And again Jesus went away and prayed, saying the same words. And once more he came and found the disciples sleeping, for their eyes were very, very heavy, and they did not know what to say to him. Jesus came a third time and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? Enough. The hour has come. The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up. Let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. Immediately, while Jesus was still speaking to Judas, one of the twelve arrived. With him there was a crowd with swords and clubs, from the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders. Now the betrayer had given the crowd a sign, saying, The one I will kiss is the man. Arrest him and lead him away under guard. So when Judas came, he went up to Jesus at once and said, Rabbi, and kissed him. Then the crowd laid hands on Jesus and arrested him. But one of those who stood near drew his sword and struck the slave of the high priest, cutting off his head. Then Jesus said to them, Have you come out with swords and clubs to arrest me? as though I were a bandit. Day after day, I was with you in the temple teaching, and you did not arrest me. But let the scriptures be fulfilled. All of Jesus' followers deserted him and fled. A certain man was following Jesus, wearing nothing but a linen cloth. The crowd caught hold of him, and he left the linen cloth and ran off naked. They took Jesus to the high priest, and all of the chief, and all of the chief priests, the elders, and the scribes were assembled. Peter had followed Jesus at a distance, right into the courtyard of the high priest, and he was sitting with the guards, warming himself at the fire. Now, the chief priests and the whole council were looking for testimony against Jesus to put him to death, but they found none. For many gave false testimonies against him, and the testimony did not agree. Jesus saying, We heard him say, I will destroy this temple that is made with hands. And in three days I will build another, not made with hands. But at this point, the testimony did not agree. Then the high priest stood up before them and asked Jesus, Have you no answer? What is it that they testify against you? But Jesus was silent and did not answer. Again, the high priest asked him, Are you the Messiah, the Son of the Blessed One? Jesus said, I am, and 
you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of the power and coming with the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his clothes and said, Why do we still need witnesses? You have heard his blasphemy. What is your decision? The whole council condemned Jesus at deserving death. Some began to spit on him, to blindfold him, and to strike him, saying to him, Prophesy. The guards also took Jesus and beat him. While Peter was below in the courtyard, one of the servant girls of the high priest came by. When she saw Peter warming himself, she stared at him and said, You also were with Jesus, the man from Nazareth. But Peter denied it, saying, I do not know or understand what you are talking about. And Peter went out into the forecourt. Then the cock crowed, and the servant girl, on seeing him, began to say to the bystanders, this man is one of them. But Peter again denied it. Then after a while, the bystanders again said to Peter, Certainly, you are one of them, for you are a Galilean. But Peter began to curse, and he swore an oath. I do not know this man you are talking about. At that moment, the cock crowed for the second time. Then Peter remembered that Jesus had said to him, Before the cock crows twice, you will deny me three times. And Peter broke down and wept. As soon as it was morning, the chief priests held a consultation with the elders, scribes, and the whole council. They bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate asked him, Are you king of the Jews? Jesus answered him, You say so. Then the chief priests accused Jesus of many things. Pilate asked him again, Have you no answer? See how many charges they are bringing against you? But Jesus made no further reply, so that Pilate was amazed. Now at the festival, Pilate used to release a prisoner for them, anyone for whom they asked. Now a man called Barabbas was in prison with the rebels who had committed murder during the insurrection. So the crowd came and began to ask Pilate to do for them according to his custom. Then Pilate answered them, Do you want me to release for you the king of the Jews? For he realized that it was out of jealousy that the chief priest had handed over Jesus. But the chief priest stirred up, stirred up the crowd to have Pilate release. Barabbas for them instead. Pilate spoke to them again. Then what do you wish me to do with the man you call the king of the Jews? The crowd shouted back, Crucify him. Pilate asked them, Why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Crucify him. So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas. For them, and after flogging Jesus, Pilate handed him over to be crucified. Then the soldiers led Jesus into the courtyard of the palace, that is, the governor's headquarters, and they called together the whole court, and they clothed Jesus in purple cloak, and after twisting some thorns into a, cr a crowd, they put it on him. And they began saluting him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. 
They struck his head with a, re with a reed, spat upon him, and knelt down in homage to him. After mocking him, they stripped him of the purple cloak and put his clothes on him. Then they led him out to be crucified. The soldiers compiled a passby who was coming in from the country to carry Jesus, to carry Jesus' cross. It was Simon of Cyrene, the father of Alexander and Rufus. Then the soldiers brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, which means the place of his skull. And they offered him wine mixed with muck, but he did not take it. And the soldiers crucified Jesus, divided his clothes among them, casting lots and decide what each should take. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they crucified Jesus. The inscription of the charge against him read, the king of the Jews, and with Jesus, they crucified two bandits, one on the right and one on his left. Those who passed by derided Jesus, shaking their heads and saying, The congregation, please stand. Aha, uh -huh. you who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself and come down from the cross. In the same way, the chief priests, along with the scribes, were also mocking Jesus among themselves, saying, He saved others, but he cannot save himself. Let the Messiah, the King of Israel, come down from the cross now so that we may see and believe. Those who were crucified with Jesus also taunted him. When it was noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. At three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice. Eloi, Eloi. Lama Sabathani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, Listen, he is calling for Elijah. And someone ran, fill a sponge with sour wine, put it on a stick, and gave it to Jesus to drink, saying, Wait, let's see whether Elijah will come to take him down. Then Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. Now when the centurion who stood facing him saw that this where Jesus breathed his last, he said, Truly, this man was God's son. There were also women looking on from a distance. Among them were Mary Magdalene, Mary, the mother of, Jesus, of James, the younger of Joseph, Joseph, and Salmon, these used to follow Jesus and provide for him when he was in Galilee. And there were many other women who had come with him to Jerusalem. When evening had come, and since it was the day of the preparation, that is, the day before the Sabbath, Joseph of Amartya, a respected member of the council, who was also himself waiting expectantly for the kingdom of God, went boldly to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate wondered if Jesus were already dead. And summoning the centurion, he asked him whether Jesus had been dead for some time. When Pilate learned from the centurion 
that Jesus was dead, he granted the body to Joseph. Then Joseph bought a linen cloth, taking down the body, wrapped it in a linen cloth, and laid it in a tomb that had been held out of the rock. Jesus then, Joseph then rolled a stone against the tomb, against the door of the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joseph, was was so where the body was laid. We now turn to page 217 as we kneel for the litany of penitence. Most holy and merciful Father, we confess to you and to one another and to the whole communion of saints in heaven and on earth that we have sinned by our own fault in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart and mind and strength. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We have not loved ourselves as we ought. We have not forgiven ourselves, others, as we desire to be forgiven. We have not forgiven ourselves as we have been forgiven. All. We have been deaf to your call to serve as Christ served us. We have not been through to the mind of Christ. We have grieved your Holy Spirit. We confess to you, Lord, all our past unfaithfulness, the pride, the hypocrisy, and the impatience of our lives. We confess to you, Lord, our self-indulgent appetites and ways, and our exploitation of other people. We confess to you, Lord, our anger at our own frustration and our envy of those more fortunate than ourselves. We confess to you, Lord. Our intemperate love of worldly goods and comfort, and our dishonesty in daily life and work. We confess to you, Lord. Our negligence in prayers and worship, and our failure to commend the faith that is in us. We confess to you, Lord. Accept our repentance, Lord, for the wrongs we have done for our blindness to human need and suffering, and our indifferences to injustice and cruelty. Accept our repentance, Lord. For all false judgments, for uncharitable thoughts towards our neighbors, and our prejudice and contempt towards those who differ from us. Accept our repentance, Lord. For our waste and pollution of your creation, 
and our lack of concern for those who come after us. Accept our repentance, Lord. Restore us, good Lord, and let your anger depart from us. Favor and be near us, for your mercy is great. Accomplish in us the work of your salvation. That we may show forth your glory in the world. By the cross and passion of your Son, our Lord. Bring us to all your sins to the joy of his resurrection. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who desires not the death of sinners, but rather that they may turn from their wickedness and live, has given the power and commandment to his ministers to declare and pronounce to his people being penitent the absolution and remission of their sins. He pardons and absolves all those who truly repent and with sincere hearts believe his holy gospel. Therefore, we beseech him to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit, that those things may please him which we do on this day, and that the rest of our life hereafter may be pure and holy, so that at the last we may come to his eternal joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We stand for the greeting of peace. The greeting of peace from peace. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross we meet in his name and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. God's peace, everyone. God's peace. The Lord be with you. We like to take the opportunity to welcome each and every one, but there are some visitors within our congregation we would like to welcome you. We have Mr. and Mrs. Graham Gresham visiting from the UK, and Mr. Gresham is the son of Mrs. Joy Gresham and daughter-in-law of Mrs. Gresham. Would you please stand so we can officially We have Miss Arlene Allison Steele from the USA. Allison. <laughs> Joanna Howard from the USA. Joanna. <laughs> Anne Marie Lewis from the USA. Anne Marie.
And we are very happy to have the St. Luke's, St. Luke congregation from Grenville Vale. Would you please? Sandra and the contagion. St. Vincent Monjulu congregation, we welcome you. And St. Albans, Mong Morris, we welcome you. Welcome one and all. Service time, week of 25th March to 31st March. Tuesday and Wednesday, 5 a.m., morning prayer online via Zoom. Thursday, 6 p.m., Monday, Thursday, Litany, St. George Parish Church. Friday, 7 a.m., Good Friday service. St. Vincent Manjulu, it's 7 a.m. and 12 noon, Good Friday service, right here at the parish church. Saturday, 5.30 p.m., Holy Saturday, which is the Easter Vigil, and there'll be service right here at the parish church. Easter Sunday, 7.30 a.m., Holy Mass, St. George Parish Church, 8 a.m., Holy Mass, St. Luke, Grenville Field. Notices, special prayers. Let us pray for those who are sick, shut in at home and at our various institutions, and for those who request the prayers from the church. We pray especially for Beverly Park, Canon Clement Francis, Leonard Seminar, Jacqueline Mitchell, and Alice Lambert. Meeting with groups, organizations, and committee heads. Archdeacon Marshall is inviting all heads of groups, organizations, and committees to a meeting at the parish church on Monday, 25th March at 5 p.m. That's tomorrow, 5 p.m. The meeting will be preceded by evening prayer. End of notices. Anyone celebrating a birthday or an anniversary, you are invited to the communion rail for a blessings. Birthdays on your right, anniversaries on your left. Praise, O oh God, for your goodness and your love, but especially for the gift of life, O oh God, for your dear Son. As he is bowed, O oh God, before your holy altar, he comes to give you thanks and praise for life, O oh God, for the blessings you've bestowed upon him. And so, Father, this morning we just pray that you would continue to look over him, that you would guide him, O oh God, and that you would increase, O oh God, his stature that you would strengthen him to be the young man you want him to be, O oh God, to walk according to your perfect will and ways. So, Father, we ask a special blessings upon him this morning, and we pray the guidance of the Holy Spirit be always on his life as he continues to serve you. In Jesus' name, amen. traveling today or in the coming week and need a traveling blessing you are invited to the communion rail and those who may need a special prayer of the church you're also invited traveling blessings on your right and special prayers on your left
traveling breast blessings let us pray in the name of god whose father son and holy spirit amen dear god and father your daughters are leaving these shores and they've come before you god to ask for traveling mercies and so father we pray that your guidance would go with them that your holy spirit would be with them O oh god as they travel and lord we pray for safety we pray for protection and that their mission, O oh God, will be accomplished in alignment with your perfect will. And so, Father, be with them. We make this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. a light refreshment at the chapel please don't leave it was done for you in mind so feel free to partake thank you and end of notices thank you people's one sister Baron. we also in this parish prepare to welcome canon curtis robinson will be here for the character games but has offered to be a part of our Holy Week and Easter celebration. Canon Robinson is from the Bahamas, that diocese. So he shall be with us during the Tridium. We'll be here as preacher on Good Friday, 12 noon to 3 p.m. And will also be with us as celebrant on Easter Sunday. In addition, we welcome all those who will be visiting the beautiful Spice Isle for the Carifta Games. Let us show a warm Grenadian hospitality and allow them to have a slice of the spice, just a slice. We'll keep the rest for those who come again. As we have our 51st Carifta Games here in the Isle of Spice, Grenada. Lots happening. Let us be mindful of all things that are around us and in so doing, put God first. The offertory hymns. 134, 1, 3, 4.
Come now to the great thanksgiving of the Mass, the presentation of the offerings, page 126, prayer A. Through your goodness, Lord, we have this bread and wine to offer, the fruit of the earth and the work of human hands, they will become our spiritual food. All things come from you, o Lord, and of your own do we give you. Blessed be God forever. Amen. We shall use the proper preface for Holy Week and the Eucharistic prayer C. We continue with the Sassam Coda. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father Almighty, everlasting God. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, for our sins he was lifted high upon the cross, that he might draw the whole world to himself, and by his suffering and death, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who put their trust in him. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna.
We give thanks to you, Lord our God, for the goodness and love you have made to us in creation. In calling Israel to be your people, in your word spoken through the prophets and above all, in the word made flesh, Jesus' son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. For on the night he was betrayed, he took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take this and eat it. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. And after supper, he took the cup of wine. And he had given thanks. He gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many. The forgiveness of sin. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance. Therefore, Father, according to his command, we remember what he said, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory. And we offer a sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ, and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your son in his sacrifice that we, made acceptable in him, may be sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, reconcile all things in Christ and make them new, and bring us to that city of light where you dwell with all your sons and daughters. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By whom, and with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our oh, Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The fraction sent. God of promise, you have prepared a banquet for us. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. (coughs) 
Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. The gifts of God for the people of God. Our soul will please and be satisfied, and we will sing glad songs of praise.
in 141, 141. Five hundred and seventy one, five seven one.
children's hymn. 129, 1, 2, 9. post-communion prayer. The first on page 147. Let us pray. Almighty Father, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. May we share his body, live his risen life. We you drink his cup, bring life to others. We upon whom your spirit shines give light to the world. Help us to continue in faithful witness to your word. So we and all your children shall be free. And the whole earth live to praise your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ, crucified, draw you to himself. To find in him a sure ground for faith. A firm support for hope and the assurance of sins forgiven. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit 
be among you and remain with you always. We shall stand and sing the recessional hymn. 130. Then the sanctuary party will process in silence. And let us observe for the short period thereafter before the refreshment be served, that moment of great silence. The recessional hymn. 131, 131.